Hello folks, Everchanger here, and welcome back to more Pokemon Yellow. Last time, we traveled through the Pokemon Mansion, and we were able to obtain the secret key. We also got some really interesting lore about the Pokemon world, which I think is a really nice little detail about Cinnabar that not a whole lot of the game tends to emphasize. Anyway, this time I have switched Lapras into the front in the hopes that it will be able to help us to take on the gym, because now that we have the key, we should be able to get inside. There we go. It doesn't even use it or anything. It's just, oh, now you can open the door. Anyway. Cinnabar Island Pokemon Gym Leader Blaine. Winning trainers blue, because of course. Yo, champion making. The hot-headed Blaine is a fire Pokemon pro. Dows his spirits with water. You better take some burn heals. Uh, if this episode wasn't titled The Volcano Badge, there would definitely be a burn heal joke. Anyway, this gym is also known as the Quiz Gym. You have to take a quiz if you want to see Blaine. You don't have to fight us if you get it right. So the gimmick of this gym is basically each machine has a quiz programmed into it and if you answer the quiz correctly you do not have to fight the trainer. However, this is the only opportunity you get to fight these trainers and I'd really like to get the experience so I'm going to be purposely answering these questions wrong. Because if you answer the question wrong and beat the trainer the door is still going to open I believe. Anyway. If you want to conserve your Pokemon for the gym leader, then get it right. Here we go. Caterpie evolves into Butterfree. Yeah. No, Caterpie evolves into Metapod. Well, I can fight him anyway. I was a thief, but I came straight as a trainer. Yeah, some of the questions here are worded a little bit weirdly. Because of, like, text limits, I guess. But yeah, I mean, Caterpie evolves into Metapod, which then evolves into Butterfree. So I was thinking it was looking for Metapod, but apparently not. Anyway, the Pokemon in here are pretty high leveled, but luckily every single one of them is a pure fire type. So I'm going to try and see how much I can get out of Lapras in terms of results for taking out these Pokemon. Because if we can pull off that, Lapras should grow pretty quickly. Case in point, it just grew to level 29. It is our only Pokemon on the entire team that is under level 30 at this point, so... I'd really, really like to get Lapras up there, and this is a really, really good opportunity to do that. Critical hit, it's not very effective. Now the thing is, it's actually normal effectiveness, because fire is super effective on ice, but not very effective on water. So Lapras does not actually resist fire, it just does a lot of damage against fire. And that is what we are going to be, I guess, abusing, quote-unquote, in this gym. Hopefully we can survive this onslaught of nine tails right here we're probably going to be running back to heal a lot but that's not really too big of a deal because as far as i know when you leave the gym and come back the door is going to stay open also i'd really like lapras to get the uh points for this so we are going to switch over to blastoise to take down the rest of this nine tails now, it's also worth pointing out, we currently have 41 Pokemon owned in our Pokedex, and we need to get 50 in order to get the last reward from Professor Oak's aid. And I don't think I ever actually went and got the reward for 30, so we're going to have to go get that at some point also. So, sometime within the next few episodes, I'm probably going to go do that. Anyway, I'm going to go heal, and I will be right back. Alrighty, we are back, and the door does indeed stay open, so yeah, we really don't have to worry about this. Anyway, are there two quizzes here? That's weird. Oh well. Anyway, here is trainer number two, and hopefully we don't get burned on like the first turn of the fight, because I have a feeling that harmed Lapras pretty considerably, although as far as I know, I think that what burn does is it cuts your physical attack, and since Surf is a special move, I'm pretty sure it wasn't actually doing any less damage than it would normally do. So that's one pro we've got going for it. So down goes Vulpix, get a big chunk of experience, I want to get as much experience on Lapras as possible just because it came to us really, really low leveled. And Roar once again misses. Now I learned something really amusing about Generation 1 recently, which I didn't know before, but honestly I could definitely believe it. Apparently, status moves have a 1 in 4 chance of failing if the AI uses them. Apparently, that does not affect 
the player whatsoever. It's just whenever the AI uses a status move of any kind, there's just like two coin flips chance of it failing for no reason at all. I don't get why that is. I think it's just another testament to how broken Generation 1 is in general. Although I guess in this case it works out for me, but it seems just so weird that the AI would be affected by a bug that we're not affected by, and it seems a little unfair. Anyway, Lapras just soloed that super nerd right there, which is awesome, and it got to level 30, and are there two quizzes here? No, we can only interact with the one on the left for some reason. There are nine certified Pokemon League badges. Hell yeah, there are. <laughs> Sorry, bad call. And we get to fight the trainer. You can't win. I have studied Pokemon totally. I mean, I guess technically speaking, at the time this game was released, there were only eight badges, but now I believe there's eight, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 50? There's 50 of them, I think, that you can obtain in the game, because for some reason, Unova has 10. So, I'm pretty sure there are 50. So, yeah, that's an interesting little detail right there. I have to wonder, there hasn't been a new Pokemon game revealed for this year yet, and I really, really, really want them to reveal one at E3, because that's pretty much the last chance we'll get. And I just have to wonder, what's with all those empty lots in Sun and Moon? I feel like they're kind of trying to tease a sequel in some way. And honestly, Sun 2 and Moon 2 on the Switch would be the best thing. So yeah, that's definitely what I am rooting for. Although I guess it's possible we might go a full 2017 without a new Pokemon game, although I think I'd go crazy if that happened. Uh, the whole long wait for Sun and Moon, just follow it up by another, it'd be as bad as back when Diamond and Pearl were brand new. Like, everyone was waiting years for Diamond and Pearl, and then they come out, and then there isn't anything else until Platinum two years later. I really don't want to repeat of that, because that was, like, the most boring time ever to be a Pokemon fan. Hey. Anyway, Lapras continues to do the work. Getting lots of one-shots right here. Now, I'm not sure how well Lapras is going to do against the Gym Leader, because the Gym Leader packs a Pokemon that's like level 54, I think, we're looking at. Yeah. Anyway, as you can see, lose against the guy, I mean, win against the guy, the door opens. Alright, test your skill. Poliwag evolves three times. Uh, sure. Nope. Bad call. I just like using fire Pokemon, as does everybody in this gym, it would seem. But yeah, Poliwag only evolves twice, once into Poliwhirl and once into Poliwrath or Politoed in later games. I have to wonder how many people who only played the Generation 1 games actually know about things like that, how older Pokémon were given new evolutions, because I feel like a lot of people that played Generation 1 just never played a game after that. So I have to wonder how many things people are just... missing. I have to wonder what would happen if you went back and told one of those people that in current Pokemon games, TMs are infinite use, because that is the best change they have ever made. Anyways, trying to learn Confuse Ray, Lapras is at least, and I think we'll get rid of Sing, because like, honestly, I haven't been using it, and the nice thing about Confuse Ray is it has a chance of dealing damage to the opponent, and I believe it's also more accurate, if I'm not mistaken. It's at least as accurate, I know that much. Anyway, loop right around here. Pokemon quiz, test your skill. Are thunder moves effective against ground element type Pokemon? No, but I'm gonna say yes to fight the guy. Sorry, bad call. I know why Blaine became a trainer. I feel like the main reason anybody becomes a trainer is because the professor doesn't have actual employees to go out and complete the Pokedex for him, so he has to ask little children. I mean, that's why I became a trainer, let's be honest here. Although, the reason I first became a trainer was because a professor still uses email, but can't walk out his front door to go chat with some guy. I... Anyway, let's try and get Surf to actually hit Rapidash right here. Or wait, no, is Fire Spin one of those... Yeah, Fire Spin's one of those stupid rap-type moves in this game. I forgot about that. So yeah, 
rears its ugly head again, and since it's faster than- oh, oh, it missed. Thank god it missed. Lee. Alright, hopefully that'll bring it down in one shot, I'm doubtful. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that to work, and wow, it used Tail Whip. Alright, I will definitely take that. We can take down a Pokemon 10 levels higher than us, and we can get a lot of experience for that one. 1600, almost 1700 experience, that's awesome. Alright, we beat this guy, but I think I should probably go back and heal because... Lapras is a little under half, and judging by some of the Pokemon in here, it can still take some serious hits, so I will be right back. Alrighty, we are back, and hopefully we can get through the remainder of the gym trainers without having to go back and heal again, although on principle I will be going back to heal again before the gym leader, just because it's the gym leader, you want to be at your best. Pokemon quiz, test your skill. Pokemon of the same kind and level are not identical. That is true, so I'm going to say no. Sorry, bad call. I've been to many gyms, but this is my favorite. Honestly, I like trivia games like this, although sometimes I wish they'd be a little bit more challenging. Like, honestly, the questions in here are really easy, although I guess to be fair, little kids are going to be playing this game. Imagine if there was, like, a quiz show type thing at the end of... Oh, I don't know, Xenoblade Chronicles. That would be hilariously out of place, but I think it would require a lot more skill considering how huge that game is. Alright. Yeah, I just glanced over at my shelf of 3DS games and I'm like, eh, Xenoblade's a fun one. Alright, Growlithe coming out next. Now, Xenoblade's a fun game for me. I actually own multiple copies of Xenoblade Chronicles. I own a 3DS copy and I also own two Wii copies, one of which is actually a launch copy. And I have to ask, is there anyone else out there who owns multiple copies of a game that would like to enlighten us in the comments? I'm definitely curious. I know Steven George has like six or seven copies of Earthbound at this point. I think it's just a really interesting thing collecting multiple copies of the same game. Pokemon Quiz. Test your skill. TM28 contains Tombstoner, which is a move that doesn't even exist, so I'm going to say yes. Also, the term Stoner has appeared in a Pokemon game officially? Fire is weak against H2O. Dihydrogen Monoxide. Alright, let's do this. Super Nerd wants to fight. Now, I hope I got that right. It's been a couple of years since I last took a chemistry course, but I'm pretty sure that's correct. I mean, I got an A in it, somehow, so... It's gotta count for something. Anyway, I'm gonna surf right through this Growlithe right here. And yeah, surf is really serving us well, because even though Lapras is laughably underleveled for like 99% of the Pokémon in this gym, it's getting through here pretty easily, which I definitely, definitely appreciate. Because as I've mentioned probably a thousand times already, Lapras needs them levels. Alright, Vulpix goes down, and we defeated yet another super nerd. Oh, snuffed out. Alright, loop around here, and I think we have... Oh no, that's it, that's the gym leader. So I think we are going to zigzag back through this gym, and we should go and heal. Now, I'm going to keep Lapras in the front, just in case it can do something against this guy's Pokemon, but there aren't any promises, he's pretty strong. Alrighty, we are back, and we are ready to take on the Gym Leader. This guy's Pokemon are pretty darned powerful in this game in regards to levels, so hopefully we can make it through here okay, although we have Blastoise if Lapras fails, so I think we should be okay, all things considered. Ha! I am Blaine, I am the leader of Cinnabar Gym. My fiery Pokemon will incinerate all challengers. Ha! You better have burn heal! Oh, the memes. Oh, the memes. They are so glorious. Alright, Blaine wants to fight. And he opens up with Nine Tails, level 48. Yeah, this guy is not messing around. And it knows Confuse Ray. Awesome. Come on, hit. Or not, you know, that also works. Uh, 
Honestly, it was probably a pretty smart call on his part to open up with Confuse Ray, but doesn't mean I can't be annoyed at it. Alright, how much is this going to do? I bet less than half. Eh, more than I thought, but still less than half. And Lapras snaps out of confusion. And we can surf Ninetales again. Now, if we could get a critical, that would be awesome. No. He's probably going to heal. Oh, wow, he didn't heal. Okay, now the question is, can we survive this flamethrower? It's going to do a lot. Yeah, we actually survived it, which means Lapras is officially going to take out a Pokemon that is 16 levels higher than it. How much is this going to give us? A lot. And we didn't even level up. That's really disappointing. Alright, now I do not have any faith in Lapras surviving a hit from a level 50 Rapidash. So I think switching over to Blastoise would be very prudent at this point. Because, I mean, look at it. Level 50. Also, that's going to do a lot. Wow. Yeah. Takedown hurts a lot. And also, I'm like 99% sure this Rapidash is faster than me. Do I have potions? I might want to use a potion here just because Blastoise is like my last great like guy against Blaine and Rapidash hits hard and it is extremely fast and I really don't want to take any chances. Especially since like look at this, I fought pretty much every trainer in the entire game. Oh my god, I flinched. Are you for real right now? I fought like every trainer in the entire game and I'm still like ridiculously underleveled for this fight. It's stupid like how they laid it out his pokemon are all like up there in the 50s i think i've earned the right to be a little cheap to use some items in this fight because like duh i've laid out my case yellow in general is pretty cheap in regards to the level curve i've come to realize Anyway, Surf doesn't even take it out, which is insane. Now, can we please survive this takedown? If we survive, the recoil will probably... Oh, oh man. Oh, wow. It actually... Hey. That, was a, that was a close one. I thought, for whatever reason, I'd already used Surf on that turn, but nope, we hadn't, so we bring it down, and that was close. Wow. All right, up next is Arcanine. This is an interesting one as well. I'm gonna switch over to Lapras, and yes, Arcanine is level 54. The game is literally throwing a level 54 on us, and once again, Arcanine is an astoundingly fast Pokemon. So I think what I'm gonna do in this case is I'm actually gonna switch out to Nidoking, because I'm pretty sure Nidoking is resistant to fire-type moves. And hopefully it can take a hit. Ooh, takedown's going to hurt a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Wow! That was a huge chunk. And again, he gets a critical. But of course, criticals in this game, for whatever reason, are due to speed difference. And since Rapidash and Arcanine are insanely fast... Yeah, you can see that this does not work in your favor. Especially since, given you're going to be under-leveled... Yeah, you can see how this is going to go. Anyway, I'm in the yellow, but that takedown only did 60, and I have 70 left. So I'm going to take a gamble and use Sir. Oh, well, that's going to hurt a lot. We might survive. No, there probably wasn't much of a chance to survive that. Ow. All right, I think the only other Pokemon I have in my team that has a lick of a chance of outspeeding this thing is Charizard. And even then, I'm not sure if we'll be able to do it. So let's see if we can get the criticals on Slash here. It's worked out for me in the past. Yeah, that was a critical. That right there was a critical Slash, and it did like less than half of its health. I think one more will do it, though. Oh, wow, it actually still survived. Oh my god, this game's gonna give me like a seizure. Hey, I do apologize. All right. Anyway, one more Slash, one more critical and down goes Arcanine level 54 may I remind you anyone who said this game is fair in terms of the level curve I'm sorry you're wrong and we defeated Blaine I have burnt out you have earned the volcano badge and they do the little anime backhanded toss sound effect if you heard that and we get the oddly specific 5346 for winning Oh, ha, 
The Volcano Badge heightens the special abilities of your Pokémon. Here, you can have this too. That's going to be really helpful considering like most of my Pokémon are special attackers. And we get TM38, which I believe is Fire Blast? Yes, it is. Teach it to Fire-type Pokémon. Charmeleon or Ponyta would be good bets. That's an interesting little suggestion right, suggestion right there. I can English. I may or may not use the Fire Blast TM just because it only has five power points. And if I recall correctly, it doesn't even have high enough accuracy. I think its accuracy is like 90-something. So yeah, we're probably going to leave it. Anyway, let's head right on in here and heal up our Pokemon because we took a beating in that gym, my word. Yeah, Blaine was one I was definitely scared of because, like, level 54? Are you for real? And it's only going to get worse from here. Like... I really don't want to have to grind near the end of this LP, but I might have to just because of how stupid the level curve is right at the end. Anyway, I think with that we are going to end things off here. So this past episode of Pokemon Yellow, we obtained the Volcano Badge. We only have one more badge to go, and as you can see, not even the trainer case knows who the 8th gym leader is. Very mysterious. And next time on Pokemon Yellow, we are going to be heading north because there's one more oceanic route for us to take care of. So without further ado, thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Windy! Densets Pokemon! Takasa 1.9m! Omosa 155.0kg! 中国の言い伝えにある伝説のポケモン。ものすごいスピードで走るという。